So I was shopping on the Anthropology website looking for bathing suits and I found a bathing suit with the cutest detail down the side, but it's $180, oh my God. And I know we can recreate this for way less. So we're gonna recreate that side detail with the grommets and the ties on our own bathing suit. And look at how cool this bathing suit is. It's got a panther on it. Rawr. Wow. One of the great things about this project is that you don't need a lot of sewing experience, but it's gonna look like you have tons of sewing experience after you show off your new bathing suit. Okay, enough talk, let's make it happen. For this project, you're going to need a few supplies. You're going to need some grommets. You need the tools to put on the grommets. You're gonna need your hammer. You're gonna need some fusible interfacing and you're going to need some ribbon or elastic for the ties up the side of the bathing suit. And you can find all of these supplies at any large fabric store or online. The first step is gonna be cutting open the side seams of the bathing suit. There we go. Now that we have the bathing suit opened up at the sides, we need to put some interfacing in the sides. So that way we can make it nice and strong where those grommets are gonna go. I'm gonna be folding back my bathing suit two inches. So I'm gonna cut a piece of interfacing four inches wide by the length of the side of my bathing suit. And that's because I'm going to be folding over my bathing suit two inches to extra reinforce it. So we're gonna need four strips, four inches wide. We basically need one strip of interfacing for every part we're putting grommets. I'm using a medium weight fusible interfacing for this project today. They're so easy to cut out when you have a quilting ruler. And we're done. Now that we have the interfacing cut, let's do some fusing. If you've never used fusible interfacing before, it is pretty cool. You are going to iron it on and it's going to reinforce your project area. You wanna make sure that the glue side is face down on the wrong side of your project when you do this and make sure you don't have extra interfacing hanging over the edge of your project. Otherwise, you're gonna get glue everywhere. So I'm going to cut down this piece of interfacing to be the exact shape of the bathing suit right here. So that way I don't get fusible glue all over everything. So now we're gonna head over to the iron and we're going to fuse that down. And then we're gonna do that to the other three sides as well. I have muslin on my ironing board to protect it. I have my glue side of the interfacing face down. Now we are going to pull our muslin on top of it to protect our iron. And if you wanna know more about ironing fusible interfacing and working with it, make sure you check out my video on that. And just like that, we have fusible on our bathing suit. Now you just need to do it to the other three sides. So now we have the interfacing on our bathing suit. So now we're going to fold it in half. And my bathing suit is very curvy. So I'm just going to straighten out the curve at the top and the bottom. And if yours isn't super curvy, you don't even need to do that. You just need to fold it over. So to trim it off, I'm gonna cut off everything that isn't straight, so it's just a little bit. It's just like a smidge. Look at that, so much nicer. I'm gonna put a pin in it, and then we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom down here. I'm just gonna blend that so it's nice and straight, and then go ahead and put a pin in it. So do that to all four sides of your bathing suit if you need to. Now let's talk about how to sew this down. So now what you need to do is sew down this edge that is flappy over here. So we can use a straight stitch, even though it stretches because our interfacing is woven and it is not going to stretch. Or you could use a zigzag to go down the side as well. I'm gonna be using a straight stitch today. And now you're gonna do that to the rest of your sides. All right, let's check out what we just did. So you can see we have these stiffish strips at the side, which are all interfaced and sewn down. So that way when the grommets are in it and it's pulling, it's going to be nice and strong. And now that we have that nice and reinforced, it's time to add the grommets. Are your muscles ready? I know mine never are. So I've laid out my grommets and I've decided that I would like seven down the side. Now I'm also going to do two inches in between each one. You can change this up. You could put 15 of them. You could put four of them. You can customize this to your liking. So let's go over how to put one of these grommets in. So you're gonna need two pieces to it. There's a flat part and then there's part that has 
a little pointy bit to it. Now what we need to do is make a hole in our fabric. So your kit should have come with this little piece here. There's actually a blade here on the end. So wherever you want it to be, we're going to place that with the blade face down and then make sure you have a protective surface down. It will ruin whatever surface is below it. You're gonna take your hammer and you're gonna hammer it. And then when you lift it up, it should have cut out your fabric. So that did a really great job of cutting it out. I'm gonna grab my scissors and just finish cutting it. Just missed a little bit on that side. No big deal at all. So now that we have a hole, we are going to put the pointy part of the grommet face down on the top of our project. Push it into your hole. And now we're going to take the ring, put it on the back of it. And now what we're going to do is take this part of the kit here, and we're gonna place the front of the grommet on that. So we're gonna place it face down on that piece. And now you're gonna grab this tool and you're gonna place it in the hole. And now you need to hammer it. You don't need to hammer it super hard. Okay, I need to hammer mine a little harder. There we go, few good whacks and we're all good to go. And now you can see we've got a grommet in there. It's nice and strong. It is not going anywhere. Now all we need to do is do that 27 more times and then we can lace it up. Ah, oh, we did it. We finished. It is looking so cool with these silver grommets in it. Let's put some ties in it and see how it turned out. So I cut some elastic about twice as long as the side of my bathing suit. And now it's time to tie this up. So we're gonna tie this up just like a shoe. I'm gonna start at the top and have a bow at the bottom. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. All laced up and we are looking good. Now it's the moment of truth. Put it on the dress form and see how it turned out. And it turned out great, check it out. So we have our grommets in the bathing suit with that nice strong interfacing in it. And we have these really cool elastic ties and I use the fold over elastic for my ties. So it still has some give so we can still swim in it, but we have an extra element of design now in this bathing suit. And we didn't pay $180 for it. That's the magic of upcycling. You can see things and recreate them. So cool, right? Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. I hope you had fun upcycling a bathing suit with me. If you have any questions on the process, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and let me know what upcycle you wanna see next in the comments down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to Sewing Anastasia. Hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Tumblr, all those other social media websites, so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And don't forget, I teach design classes at my sewing studio in Chicago. So come on in for a class in person and we can sew together. Check out all the info on classes at sewingonastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.